Greetings, hi, the war I'll greet you, and welcome to Counter-Strike Global Offensive 101, a series of tutorials aimed to help gamers learn the basics of how to play Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This time, we'll be looking at how to set up your crosshair configuration, so you can find the crosshair that is right for you. This is a fairly subjective subject, so I'll be going over crosshair commands, explaining what they do, and offering my advice to help you construct your own personal spiffy crosshair. To modify your crosshair, you need to have access to the console. This is a text-based interface to run user-provided commands. Press the tilde key, or the squiggly line right next to escape on your keyboard, to access the console. From here, write in the command you want to execute, and hit enter to run the command. The console is very user-friendly, showing all possible commands that start with whatever you've written, as well as showing you previous entries and the value of configuration variables before you enter them we will be using the console to change a number of variables. To view what the value of the current variable is, just type in the command and press enter. To change the value, type in the command, hit space, and enter the new value, and then press enter. Simple! First, there's CL underscore crosshair style. This can be a value between 0 and 4, and describes what the type of crosshair you will be using is. A value of 0 is the default crosshair. It is the new crosshair added to CSGO. This one is somewhat strange and has two different visual representations of the same thing. It is also fairly clunky, takes up a lot of screen space, and distracts from your targets. Also, it is not customizable. I do not recommend this crosshair, but some people might prefer it. A value of 1 is the static version of the default crosshair. Basically, it just looks like this, and that's it. I very, very much do not recommend this crosshair. A value of 2 is the classic crosshair. This is the one you'll be most used to if you've played a Counter-Strike game in the past. It consists of four lines, and it doesn't change very much dependent upon your accuracy, but it does change. This one is fully customizable, unlike the default crosshair. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will be using the classic crosshair, and I need to warn you that um, based on the recording, they, it's a little bit difficult for these crosshairs to show up in the final product, so I suggest watching this tutorial in 720p, and, and uh, also watching it in full screen so you'll be able to see the crosshairs. A value of 3 is the dynamic version of the classic crosshair. The difference between this and the classic crosshair is that the four lines detract drastically based on how accurate the player is, dependent upon his movement, if he's firing, that sort of stuff. I recommend this crosshair when practicing to help learn more about the timings of when you are accurate and not. It is very useful for this purpose. A value of 4 is the static version of the classic crosshair. It is a classic crosshair that does not move when the accuracy of the player changes, except when shooting. Some people prefer this crosshair. This is a very personal choice. To change your crosshair to the classic crosshair, type CL underscore crosshair style space 2 in the console and press enter. This is the last time in this tutorial I'll be reminding you how to use console commands, as I'm sure plenty of folks are already tired of it. Next, we have CL underscore crosshair dot. This is just a Boolean value to determine if you are using a dot or not. Dot or not, that's awesome. Being the dot in the center of the screen. A value of zero turns the dot off. Many players prefer this because it does not obscure the target. This is probably a better value for spraying. A value of one turns the dot on. Many players prefer this because it gives an exact pixel-perfect representation of where the first shot will land. This is most useful for players who try to go for one-hit headshots with weapons like the AK-47. Then we have CL underscore crosshair color. That's color C-O-L-O-R, for those of you who spell it with a U. This determines the color of the crosshair. The color of the crosshair is a very important and personal thing. You should try to find a color that is visible on the map you are currently playing on, so that it doesn't blend into the background. For example, dust-colored crosshairs on Dust 2 do very poorly. Green, by the way, is the most visible color to the human eye, which is why plenty of players prefer using green. Red is not as harsh as green, meaning it doesn't acquire as much energy to view, but it still is very visible and shows up well on most maps. A value of zero for CL underscore crosshair color is red. 
One is green. Two is yellow. Blah. I hate yellow. Three is blue. And four is light blue. Five is where it gets fun. Five represents a custom color. That's right, folks. You can make your crosshair whatever color you want. Black, white, whatever the hell this is. I tend to go for a turquoisey green type crosshair because it shows up well in both light and dark spaces. So how do you define the custom crosshair color? Well, there are four different commands to determine the color of the crosshair. I'll define three of them now and then talk about the other one later. CL underscore crosshair color underscore R is the amount of red. CL underscore crosshair color underscore G is the amount of green. CL underscore crosshair color underscore B is the amount of blue. These are the three primary colors that your monitor uses to determine what color to display. The value for these is a number between 0 and 255. The reason is this represents 256 different possibilities, which is the amount of different numbers that can be represented in one byte of data. Basically, a value of 0 for CL underscore crosshair color underscore R means that there is no red in the color you want to display. And a value of 255 means that it is mu as much red as possible. You can make a custom color in any image editing software you want. Then, just write down the values of RGB and enter them into the console. For example, open up Microsoft Paint, click Edit Colors, then notice as you drag the color thingy around uh, to change the values, you'll see the values of R, G, and B change. Those are the values you need. Now, some of you who know how images and computers work are wondering, Hey, what's the fourth value? That's gotta be alpha! Well, yes, in CSGO, alpha is possible. To enable the use of the alpha value, enter CL underscore crosshair use alpha 1. A value of 0 sets the alpha value to the default. For those of you who are unaware, the alpha value is how opaque the image is. Basically, how see-through. This is also a value between 0 and 255. You can modify this value by typing CL underscore crosshair alpha but make sure that CL underscore crosshair use alpha 1 is already enabled. I usually use a value of 255. I recommend not using the default alpha value as it's much too transparent. Next, we have CL underscore crosshair size, which determines how long the lines are. Most players prefer this to be fairly small. The default is a value of 5. Most people will play it around a 3 or a 2. Crazy people like to have it take up the entire screen because they are crazy and it makes them feel like a mech warrior or some kind of Terminator thing. But I do not recommend this. Actually, I just made all of that up. Yeah. Next, we have seal underscore crosshair thickness. This is how thick the lines are. Fairly self-explanatory. The default is 0.5, which is what most people will want to play at. If you have trouble seeing it at thickness 0.5, you could use 1. I am using 2 in this video so that it shows up better for you viewers. Then there's CL underscore crosshair gap. Please mind the gap. This represents the distance the lines are from the center of the screen. It is defaulted to 0. Normally, players will use it at around 1 or 2. If you don't like the lines and would like just a dot in the center of the screen, you can set CL underscore crosshair gap to something ridiculous, like 1000. Then set the CL underscore crosshair thickness to something like 4. This will give you a dot in the center of your screen. Uh, for spraying though, I prefer to have the lines visible. If you would like the lines to be closer to the center so that you have more of a, a, a plus sort of look to your crosshair, you can use CL underscore crosshair gap and set it to a negative number. Try CL underscore crosshair gap negative 3 for a very interesting crosshair. Then there's CL underscore crosshair scale. And I can't get it to do anything. I'm not sure what happened here, folks. It doesn't do anything. Anyway, um, well, have fun creating your own personal crosshairs. Creating your crosshair is like a Jedi creating his own lightsaber. It is a very personal representation of oneself, of one's power and morality. There are different colors, sizes, shapes. They are us. Well, I'm the War Owl, 
and I still have no closer.